Hey y'all, it's Carmen with Real Life Real Wife. I'm coming in real quick, hopefully real quick, um, for, I guess you would call it a VR for everything Marmy. Her name is Mel, and I have mentioned her several times. So I'm sure most of y'all know her by now. And if you do not, her link will be in the description box below. She is doing a challenge. Um, she is asking for a couple of things. And the deadline, I believe she has moved it till the 18th. Now, she is in Canada, and shipping is getting slow. So, I know that I'm running behind with my um, with everything that I've done. And I've been trying to slowly work on a little bit here and there for her and others in between. Um, I'm going to show you a couple of things that I've done. This one's very difficult for me. Um, and the reason why is because... Um, Mel went extremely, extremely too far in blessing me. Um, she has been there for me and talked to me about some uh, certain things and stuff. And so with that being said, I wanted to somehow be able to bless her back. But, you know, it's a little difficult if you can't just go out and buy or purchase or just do whatever. And I know that's not what she wants. I know that's not her. I know that's not her style. So... Um, what I wanted to do that I thought the best way for me to bless her is by using the products and creating her things that she in return blessed me with. Does that make sense? <clears throat> Excuse my wheezing. and I'm still struggling with the breathing. Okay. For instance, my memory decks card, um, I'm not sure. Let's see if y'all could see that. I know there's going to be some reflection. I just put a silver bow. I cut out some blue cardstock because that's my one of my favorite colors. And um, and I was gifted this in this bow and these words die cuts in uh, my challenge. Thank you all again for that because I have been able to use so many great things um, out of that. But I had this white paper rose. And I have done this once before, except for I did it with watercolors. This time, I actually was blessed by Mel, um, and she had bought me these uh, Crayola alcohol markers. So, um, I had did not have time to actually try to color um, any stamped in images yet. So, I used the markers that she had purchased me and colored, <coughs> excuse me, um, colored the um, rose in her favorite with in one of her favorites which is pink and then of course I've got my information on the back so that's where I used that um, that's what I'm referring to she gifted me those markers I put them to use created her something I hope she believes it's beautiful or feels it's beautiful and that way she has that so everything I made I honestly took a lot of thought and time to bless her. Now, this right here is just a simple thank you. I'm going to go ahead and send her thank you card out. I have not filled it out. I still got to write in the cards and then package everything up to get it in the mail. So, I wanted to hop on here. I'm not sure when this will be uploaded, if it will be before or after I ship. But, um, like I said, I know shipping is you know, running slow right now, and I'm not sure that it will make the deadline, but that's really not my purpose. I really just want to bless her and support her like she has me. Um, and it's the thank you card that she will be getting is true thoughtfulness is rare and beautiful, and that is her. If you know her, she's definitely thoughtful. She's definitely a beautiful soul, and Finding people like her is a rare indeed. And I will have a sticker, a cutout, a die cut, or something in every card. And this is one of the ones she had gifted me um, this die cut set. So I put this die cut set, made a little tag for her that I'm going to say thank you for entering my challenge. So I'll put that in along with her goodies. And then... Um, I made her a Christmas card. Again, I have not filled it out. Um, this is the paper pad that she had gifted me. I believe this one was, let's see. 
uh, the Cartabella. I do not have the paper pad. Uh, it was the Christmas delivery. Uh, Cartabella. The paper pad's behind me somewhere. Um, so I used that with some glitter cardstock. I took one of the little My Mind's Eye um, Brad's pieces and put it in the center of the the wreath and it says it's beginning to look like a lot like Christmas and then she had also gifted me this um, vintage Christmas ephemera collection and so I used one of the Santa Claus out of here on the inside um, so that she has that and I know and I you know layered it with um, black cardstock, and then I'll write my little note over here to wish her a Merry Christmas. And I will actually put this inside. I made her an envelope, but I only did a double flap, um, two pockets instead of three. So I will put her Christmas card in there with some other goodies. Now, these tags, I did not make these tags, so I will not take credit for them. But I received several, several tags in my first swap that I had ever done. And it's because it was a tag swap. And um, so I thought, well, I'll gift her a couple of these um, that I will put in there. Um, here are some more papers that I made that came from the, this paper. Um... The Martha, Martha Stewart mail had also gifted me this. And man, have I used it. I love this paper pad. Especially the cutouts and the golds. Um, I have loved this one. I've used all the paper pads she sent me. Um, and I used that in um, her in her pocket. And then um, and then on the back it has Christmas delivery and I put special delivery joy. And it has all the presents because Mel is just a gift herself to so many. So, I went with gifts and presents all the way around. And then, I believe she has a daughter named Noel. So, um, if I'm mistaken about that, I apologize. But, um, I still love it and put it in there. And I put joy to the world. North Pole Express, Happy Holidays. And I'm out of Velcro, so there will not be a flap on that. And little Miss Precious Sweet Denise Becker, her and her bows are simply amazing. And I'm using so many of them. I love them. These rosettes actually came from the paper collection as well. Um, and I have been asked when I hauled these uh, from Amazon to give my opinion on them. And I will be honest with you, I absolutely love them. Um, there's three different styles, as you can see, and I have only used this one and this one. I have not used the Lord, the, that one just yet. I just used the first two and they were very simple to make, um, just very easy. The way that the fold is, the way, um, it cuts and, um, Puts the little dots for the folding. Just, I was able to just whip them up so quick. And I'm just starting to make rosettes. So, I love those dies. Now, I also had these little... Y'all know I'm crazy about lip glosses and everything. Y'all know I'm crazy. I've got so many lip glosses. So, I figured I'd send X's and O's to her. With a big old lip, lip gloss. And I had took... The Prima paper pad and lined it for Christmas um, because Mel also gifted me this as well. So, I took the floral right there and lined it the box up and put it on its stand. And then, another thing that she has gifted me was this prayer box. And it had... It has a little uh, pencil in it and a little notepad in it. Let's see. Yeah. I've got it sitting aside. Um, my note, my um, pencil and notepad. 
So I took one of those, and one of the things I had done was because she gifted me that, I had wrote a prayer for her and stuck it in my prayer box. So I just rewrote the copy, and the, on the back it explains. I've got a copy in my box, but this is my prayer for her. Um, also, like I said, she had gifted me the Lawn Fawn um, Snow Globe Tag gift set, and I had took the little... Santa Claus, again, from the Prima pad. Uh, I think it was this one. I think it was this one or the note card, the journaling cards. Yeah, it was that, that one right there. I just took and cut it out right in the corner and put the picture and then glittered it all up and layered it and layered it. And then I glittered and made it look like snow in the background and I put it on a keychain and added a little pink and red dangle because she's always liking stuff to hang on her purse. And, you know, although this is, you know, paper and stuff, I think she still will think it's cute, I hope. But she had gifted me that. Now, so I have, she had requested a memory tag. I have some other goodies. I know she loves keys and antique things. So I've got some um, antique stickers and keys and just different things like that. Jumbo paper clips. I know she's always wearing her sunglasses. And so I figured I'd gift her one of these pouches. She loves pouches. So even if she don't want to put her sunglasses in it, she can use it for, you know, other things because it just pops open. I love these. Um, she had requested the memory decks. And she requested a crafter's choice. And yes, I could have sent the crafter's choice as the envelope, but I did not want to do that. Um, so what I did, and I'm going to move this out of the way, is I wanted to create something I'd never created. And I've seen them done. I did not watch a tutorial because the tutorials that I was wanting to do, and yes, I've got to redo the bow, but... And I've left the tails long so I can redo it before I mail it. Is I've seen other people do this, but not how I did it. So I wanted to just do it my way. And what I used is actually the gold, um, the gold cards that everybody clearanced on Hobby Lobby. And I got to wipe it off. Y'all need to tell me how to keep fingerprints off the gold metallic stuff and, um, and black the oil from your fingertips from like, um, no matter how much I clean from um, the black cardstock. But what I did is she had also gifted me some ribbons, so I used the black ribbon. And I focused this one specifically for her. Her favorite colors are black, pink, gold, and white. And like I said, I need to, um, I need to, um, wipe it off, but she had gifted me this die set as well, and I loved the rose, and it was funny because I had this in my cart, and I never did get it, so when she had gifted me that, I thought that was pretty neat, um, but I had cut out in gold glitter, and then I had colored the rose itself in black, and colored that, and then you open it up, and on this side, it's just the black cardstock and I just colored it with some glitter and like I said y'all probably get to see all the nasty fingerprints I gotta wipe off um and then I did it in a pink glitter for the rose and then you open it up this way and you can open it this way so basically I took two cards and I trimmed two of them down and then I lined them, and then I lined this and made a little pocket right here. And then I took and made her some dies. This one right here is a, is just black cardstock, same over here. Um, and I had made three pockets. So we've got the pink, we've got the black, we've got the white, and we've got the gold. And then right here it says, follow your dreams. And so, um, I took the black card stock. I made three because her number is three. So, I made three each in the black card stock. I made three each and I colored them all. I left one solid pink 
turned one black, one gold, in the pink glitter. Put those in the pocket. And then I made the gold glitter and turned one pink, one black, and left one gold. And put those in this pocket. Um, but I made three of each one and put those in those three pockets. And then fold those down, fold this over, and then she has her little die cuts. And so that was my crafter's choice. And then I did the memory decks. And then I'm gonna fill the envelope, the folded, double folded envelope. And I've got um I've got something else. Um that is going as well but um it's uh it's where she encourages me and i have written her a couple of things so anyway that is what i have uh created for her um i did make the the christmas card out of stuff that she had gifted but she had gifted me so much and so I wanted to put to use, um, I did make a few, uh, use my fusel that she had gifted me. And unfortunately in my chaos of trying to, um, do everything, I cannot find the, find it. And I no longer have time. If I find it, I'll, I'll send that to her. If not, I'll send it to her later. Um, but I just wanted to use everything that she had gifted me and create her something with it. So, I appreciate her so, so much. I appreciate each and every one of y'all. Mel, by the way, if I have not mentioned it, um, the my writing, if you feel comfortable with reading it out loud, I'm okay and comfortable with it as well. Um, that kind of stuff does not bother me, the prayer. Any of it, um, you're welcome. And there comes my shadowing, so I'm going to sign out. I hope you all have a beautiful day and an awesome weekend. And as always, I wish you the best.